Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This is number 42 on your C++ tutorial. I'm actually really excited for this video because this is where we take all that concept, which honestly kind of bores the crap out of me. And we're going to start applying that because we're going to build a little application. It's going to be a little bit of a game, if that's what you want to call it. Should be pretty fun. I'm pretty excited. This video, we're going to be talking about the pieces that go into that game. And then in the upcoming videos, we're going to build that game piece by piece. So this will use all the knowledge we've talked about from the beginning of this series. Most of it, not everything. And it'll also talk a little bit about arrays and vectors and some other cool stuff. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. First, though, I'd encourage you to check out our sponsor, Embarcadero Rad Studio. Rad Studio is the IDE of choice for C++ development. Quickly build native, mobile, and desktop applications from a single C++ code base and deploy to Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. With Rad Studio, user interface design has been made easy with hundreds of pre-built components for cross-platform development. You can easily integrate with popular source control management systems, databases, APIs, and you can make your life easier with numerous third-party extensions. Let Rad Studio do the heavy lifting when it comes to C++ development. Give it a go with a free trial by following the link in the description. So let's start talking about this application and what pieces are going to go into it. So what's going to happen is when you run the application, let's say you call it a.out, you can actually change the output name so it doesn't have to be a.out. I know that's all we've used up to this point, but if you want to change the name of your application, you can put a slash o followed by the name of your application when you compile. But we'll get into that another day. Basically, now that we're building an actual application, you might want to name it something such as my awesome application or something really creative, you know? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create an application. When you run it, it's going to give you a menu and you can select from a list of options. Right now at the beginning, it's just going to basically say play game and quit. So it's not very complex, very simple. But the idea is that as you start building more and more in C++, you can basically expand on this menu and maybe say, play guessing game, play this other game, play some other game, or read top scores and then quit. So I'm gonna give you the foundation and then hopefully you can expand on it with more cool applications. Building this application is going to use a lot of the control flow structures we talked about. So for example, to do the menu, we're going to use a do while loop. You can make a selection from this menu that's displayed. So you could say zero to quit or one to play game. Very simple menu to start with, but it's a good basis. And to operate that menu, we are going to use a switch statement. So we talked about how switches were ideal for, well, not ideal, they're only useful for integral data, which a menu is a perfect scenario because you have menu numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So in the menu, one of the options is going to be to play the game. What is the game going to be exactly? <laughs> it's pretty boring probably, but basically it's going to generate a random number. So we're gonna talk about random number generators and how to do that in C++. And then the user has to guess that random number. The goal is to see how fast you can guess that number. So the fewer guesses, the higher or better the score is. So to check to see if you got the right answer, that's going to use a while loop. I think what I'm gonna do is make this an infinite loop, so it's just gonna keep running until you get the right answer. And once you do get the right answer, it's going to break out of it, and we're going to do that using if, an if statement. So basically, it's just gonna say, hey, if the answer's correct, break out. I think that's what we're gonna do, but there's lots of different ways you can structure this application, so don't feel like you have to follow this exactly. These are just tools. These are basically the Legos to build a bigger project you can rearrange those Legos however you need as long as the output is correct. Eventually, I'd like this to keep track of what guesses you do to try to get that right number. And I wanna store those inside of a, an array and go through those and print them out using a for loop. So I think about every control flow structure is in this list. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get them all, but if not, I'm sorry. But hopefully this will give you a lot of practice using these control flow structures. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. I know it's very simple, but basically just wanted to talk about what this application is gonna do in conclusion, we're just gonna make a really fun guessing game and it's gonna be part of a bigger menu where we can put more games. We wanna keep track of them guesses and print them out when the user is done. So that's the application. Now let's get to coding this thing. All right, see you in the next video. And if you've enjoyed this content, please be sure to subscribe.